All right, in today's video, part two to Game of Thrones color grading tutorial. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna take this shot over here and we're gonna turn it into this shot from season two, I believe. And uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very simple, very straightforward. I'm gonna show you a few tricks that you may not know. And basically, let's get to it. A special thank you to Raw Film for providing this fantastic footage from Red Cameras. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description below. All right, so here we have let me close this really quick. So basically this is going to be our shot. So <clears throat> this is what we're working with. Very cool shot. We have horse riders basically going through the woods. Looks very cool. And we're going to be matching it to this. As we can see, this is pretty vibrant, pretty saturated, really cool looking shot. So very simple color grade okay first thing first i want to work again with aces and i'm going to convert my footage into rec 709 okay let me click save over here and right away basically we have amazing base grade of rec 709 so we can start working let's switch really quick to this shot over here and analyze it really quick let me pull up over here uh, waveform. Let's see, vector scope. All right, so what can we see? Let me do it a little bit better so you guys can see. Show skin tone. All right, so here we kind of have between yellow, green, and red. This is the most dominant colors. And just in case, if you don't know how to pull out... Um, little color palette there's actually a plugin that you can use called color palette and if we're going to drop it over here we can see how this plugin basically shows you a basic color palette of a given video unfortunately it doesn't work with a reference still but it's fine we got the point okay let's close it really quick and let's go back all right, so the first thing I want to do is look at the waveform and basically compare my exposure to actual Game of Thrones. So we can see their exposure primarily between, uh, I would say, 64 and 384. So let's try to match my exposure just like that. Okay, I'm going to call this one exposure. And I'm going to use offset wheel. Okay, more, more, more down. Okay, something like this. Let's see it really quick. Okay, I need to bring a little bit more gamma. Okay, something like that. Maybe we can even use log and just shoot it a bit more down. All right, so I think that looks great. We kind of in the same territory now. So second thing we can start doing is basically doing white balance, WB. And in this white balance, what I mainly want to do is to match green from actual Game of Thrones to the green color that I have over here. And as we can see, I'm very close. Probably I just want to do a little bit warmer. That way we kind of... We kind of there. Okay, so something like that. Let's see a little bit green. Okay, let's see really quick. Okay, that works. 
let's see the whole thing okay so that looks pretty cool now visually wise we have a lot of dirt over here and in order basically to match better what we have i need to kind of infuse that color a little bit so here's our shot uh looks very cool and i want to artificially sort of create that color palette again let me drop color palette and we can see right now that predominantly we have everything green over here and a little bit kind of dark brown but not enough so i'm gonna change all that okay let me delete that so i'm gonna create a new node and i'm probably gonna convert it to parallel nodes that way it's easier for me a little bit to work and okay so this one was white balance okay and this one gonna be trees trees okay sorry i'm sitting in a pitch black over here hard to see my glowing keyboard <laughs> all right so here we have it what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use secondary qualification and basically i'm gonna select my trees okay i'm gonna start with the hue okay kind of like this let's see let's see let's see okay something like that the ground is brighter okay so i'm gonna write track just be sure whenever you do selection it's very important make sure you don't have any kind of dancing noise if you have selection that constantly have dancing noise like i have over here it's not a good selection so make sure to either smooth it out or try to do different kind of selection sometimes just by making it softer it works it does the trick as long as basically we don't have that crazy dancing noise going on we should be all right now here is the deal because we have so much green and so much kind of brownish together we're not going to be able to do perfect selection so i'm going to cheat because it's a moving shot i'm going to totally get away with it what i'm going to do i'm going to do denoising okay and i'm going to use blur so we're kind of going to do a little bit modern blurry thing that being used a lot on uh modern movies that's why cgi kind of looks muddy a little bit all right so here we have it i'm gonna go to primary wheels over here i'm gonna give them a little bit of boost and i'm gonna start cranking a little bit of that brownish over here okay let me let me do it the other way that way we kind of can see okay so i'm doing this kind of brownish infusion okay so something like that because keep in mind it cannot also look very weird we got to make sure that this thing looks natural you know we don't want to go too crazy so really quick before and after before and after and now if i'm gonna do again color palette we're gonna see that there is a little change we can see that now we actually start getting a little bit of sort of brownish peeking through so that's kind of cool let's go back into vector scope and see right now on the vector scope basically where we're standing again this is probably more appropriate to match okay i like the greens all right so that looks cool on the vector scope we can see that we kind of moderately saturated and our vector scope basically almost yellow and red and a little bit of green so i'm gonna match all that and the way i'm gonna match it it's gonna be very kind of brutal i'm just going to push it just like that okay with the offset and we can see that i'm kind of almost there what i can do is to rotate a little bit of hue okay let's check it out before and after so we definitely infused a lot of that brownish into the shot.
okay again before and after so if we're gonna take a look side by side we almost getting there we are very close now I need to control a little bit saturation okay I'm gonna create a new node and over here I have too much yellow okay let's go to hue versus saturation and we can see that here is the spike that spike translated over here and if we're gonna go over here we can see that I'm too overly saturated I shouldn't be like that again let's go to the vector scope basically let's do a point and start bringing that thing down okay let's keep bringing this thing down just like that okay da -da 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 -da. all right so something like that something like that should be good again really quick before and after before and after so that looks cool again let's check it out uh, we're almost there we're getting there now i want to do completely opposite now we sort of reversed the colors now i want to select greens and basically now i want to push greens and if some of the pros or thinking they're pros watching this is not necessarily a correct way i'm just working i did not prepare this tutorial i want to show you my way of thinking how i do things to get the final image it's not necessarily reflects the proper way but basically i'm thinking on a spot so just so you guys know this has not been rehearsed and i'm working basically like i would in the studio or with a client so try to be try to raise the bar a little bit here with creativity okay so this is going to be my selection for the greens okay i think looks pretty cool and what i can do actually i probably should denoise it a little bit as well and blur it because we have lots of fast movement and what i'm gonna do now with the midtones i'm gonna push it a little bit to the green okay just like that so let's see before and after we can see how i infused brown in the trees and now that i kind of reversed it with the grass so let's check it out full screen let's loop it basically this is our shot okay looks really cool looks almost flawless okay again before and after before and after now we can add a little bit mystic element to this whole situation and mystic element gonna be sun rays so let me go in the plugins okay i have my little favorite plugins here sun rays and sun rays actually very very cool plugin that helps a lot of times blend in things okay so like that we can soften it a little bit now we kind of get like very interesting glow and what can we do to add a little kind of extra color boost not too much to so all that glow we can make let's see what we don't want to do too much okay let's do kind of like that okay so we helping to blend all this together and automatically when there's going to be a cut we're going to see how smooth and nice this thing gonna play back with that footage okay so that is it now to draw more attention to our heroes i'm gonna do a little gradient mask okay just like this i'm gonna darken it a little bit okay just like that the way our eyes will automatically go towards them because the ground is a little bit too bright now again i'm gonna do classical game of thrones vignetting that they pretty much like to use almost everywhere 
Okay, like this, invert, little kick around quarters. Okay, like that. And here we have it. Let me do full screen. So here's our shot. And this is before and after, before and after. Thank you for watching, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon.